Welcome back. We're playing week 149 of the teaching ladder. And uh, as we see, this is kind of a pivotal match for myself. I've not played in a while. Thought it'd be good to get back into things. Um, so I should probably focus. This is... oh wow. Hmm. Normally on these... oh, so the point of the teaching ladder is that you get to play a higher rated and a lower rated opponent. And then afterward, you get to review the game together. Um... And so, normally I comment quite a bit during the game, but since I'm on the verge of deranking, I might take this somewhat seriously. We'll see. Um, it's been a while. But yeah, Shogi's fun, so no matter what, we're going to do our best to have fun and to learn. As usual, our opponent goes for the predictable opposing rook attack. Um, so that makes my job a little bit easier. I have an interesting idea in mind. How long can I conceal it? without spoiling the idea. Yeah, there's no point in hiding it. We're just going to go with the idea and see how it goes. If he's committed all out to an attack on this flank, I'm just not going to castle that way. This will be fun. Shogi is fun, right? So I'm playing with fire. Playing with fire can be fun.
That's unfortunate I didn't have time to push this and move the silver up. Because that would have made for a very interesting combination. Well, our opponent got what they wanted, but did they really want it? I think that's the question here. Okay, they got what they asked for, and it might not have been what they actually wanted. This is such a goofy position. Yes, welcome one and all to this exciting game. Okay, our opponent builds a very solid castle. We're just going to line up our king with their king, and it'll be fine somehow. Hmm. Yes, they built a very solid shape. But what does that mean? It does mean I have to be very careful, but I mean, what does that mean? Huh. 
Huh. I could push this pawn in front of my rook. This could be interesting. We could see some fireworks. But I don't really want that, do I? That blocks their rook. They might be able to sacrifice bishop for silver here. But maybe not. Um, they've not really built any sort of an attack against my king. So who knows how this might result. They've also spent some time pushing pawns. Okay, there's the attack against the king. Um, I suppose I could drop a pawn to protect against this. Because that looks spooky. Um, I could also move my gold up, but that seems to invite trouble rather than deter it. Oh, but if I drop a pawn, they take a pawn for free, but... Maybe I don't care. Um, hmm. I've got to retreat to defend against this damn thing. Uh-huh. That's a strong attack. Although... Hmm. Interesting. This gets complicated. I think I should take it. What a messy position, but... Um, I need to activate my bishop, and this activates my bishop.
I mean, yeah, arguably they can drop a pawn and it's a pain, but um, that's a pain I can deal with. Hey, welcome. So they've built an extremely solid castle, and they have a silver attacking aided by two pawns. They are threatening to threaten many more things, but none of those are present in this position. I mean, the big thing they're wanting to do is push this twice. And this loses a move unless I've missed something. Um... What could I have missed here? Yeah, it's a uh, complic. Okay, so if I take silver, takes uh, well, it could come, but more importantly, they could drop their bishop to attack my king. So what I need to do here is focus um, on defending my king, creating a counterattack, creating another counterattack and preventing this rook pawn from advancing all at the same time. So, yeah. I saw this a minute ago, but I didn't immediately play it. I took a minute to look around for other possibilities and then settled on playing this. Now, in playing this, I recognize that bishop drop 3-3 three, three is also possible. Um, However, we exchange bishops and I repeat the tactic, and then, like, yeah, I saw all that. So, I'm curious what else might happen. Not that I'm looking for advice, this is a rated game, but, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, in addition to all of those considerations, um, I can now do pawn takes, silver takes, and I can take this pawn for free. So, those are all possibilities here. I've been trying to figure out how to hit the rook and win this pawn, or drop the bishop here and promote over there, or something like that, but this just takes it. Um, the downside of this is that I don't have the bishop in hand anymore, but... Eh. What can you do? Um, yeah... Plus, I guess if pawn takes, silver takes, if they drop the pawn, I can do silver takes here. And it looks like they're making progress, but they're not. Well, uh, it's a mess. Silver takes is possible, but retreating is also possible. Pawn takes is probably their strongest move here, and could get very complicated. Um, yeah. Pawn takes could get very complicated. I could do pawn takes knight takes and then bring the knight up, but then if they block this diagonal, but they can't because they've advanced this, but they'd have to like push this side take here, then they could cut the diagonal. But otherwise, the knight advance, the silver would move up, this bishop would take over here, and I could drop the lance to hit the castle aided by a pawn. But my king's more vulnerable. Um, 
So one thing I might look into doing is running the king back to the right side of the board, but then my bishop has to cover the king's head, and that's not so easy to do either. So the king might be stuck where it's at. Um, but no, if it's stuck where it's at, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it's... There's a lot of things that doesn't do anything. No, I, I'm sorry, gains a tempo bringing the silver toward my castle. I don't have much of a choice but to do what I'd originally planned here, so let's do it. Um, they might drop a bishop anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I've gained a lance. Um... <laughs> Man, this calls for a careful calculation. It's not my style, but um, no, I. It's a free night. That is just a free night. Um, so takes pawn exchange knight takes. If they redrop the pawn, we take the silver, they promote. Oh, well, okay, it's not entirely a free knight. If they redrop the pawn, I can't move my knight. That's the upshot, but that's no big deal, right? Well, maybe. I don't know. Um, if it's a free knight, that'd be awesome, but it's complicated. Uh. I want it to be a free knight. Um, oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. I can actually get away with this here. It looks like I can't, because um, that's check, but they run out of pawns. Each time they drop a pawn, it costs them a tempo. <laughs> Whoa! This move order? Are you serious? Like... The other move order might have worked with the silver advance, but what? How could this possible? Um. Yeah, I don't understand. You're not going to drop a pawn back here anymore. Yeah, okay, you win the night. That's nice. Who's got the safer king? I wonder. That's clever. That is very clever. Um...
And this gold wasn't doing anything. I don't mind losing it. Yes, yeah, so he is going to get the safer king in just a second here. Um, that's fine. Oh, he doesn't want it. Never mind. Um, I thought he was going to sack the rook, which would have been really heroic. Um, but we ended up with this instead. I, what? Huh? Um, maybe they only considered this silver advance. I don't know. That's a fork. Normally, I'd bring the silver this way and try to bust up the castle, but this just wins an enormous piece here. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of forced. I hear ya. Um, I could take it. That's, yeah, no, taking it's safer than retreating. Um, oh, Rich, there's other options beyond just taking and retreating here. Um, That said, retreating is very strong, so let's just do that. So they have one knight attack ready to attack my position that one night is the entirety of their attacking force plus whatever whatever pawns they can use to assist that night um
30秒うん。That's resourceful. I missed that. This is kind of awful. これより秒読みに入ります。I missed that. It might not matter. It might matter a lot. Um... Give it our best. Shogi is a game. Games are meant to be fun. Let's try to have fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is... Well, okay, no, I'm screwed. Um, this is extremely bad because I missed a uh, bishop drop here. Yeah, 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 that sucks. Um... Yeah, this is extremely bad. We'll do what we can. That's not much, but we'll do what we can.
30秒30秒。30秒。Why did I do that? Yeah, I was scared, but I should have read some variations. Well, no. Uh, variations I read suggested this move, but it's not right. I should have retreated the silver. Um, no, retreating the silver gets me made it. Um, yeah, this is probably the move of best resistance. That move's crazy. There are many reasons why that move is crazy. Hmm, maybe it's best though. Interesting. That sucks. Mm, that sucks more than I thought it did. Um... Well, maybe it's okay. Maybe... Oh, they promoted?
30秒I know why they did that. That doesn't make it right. Interesting. Thanks for the game. Where's the sign? Well played. All right, that was exciting. So the idea is after each game, we get to do a post-game review with the opponent, and uh, hopefully we both learn something from it. Yeah. Ghost Stone has always had a very strong attacking way of playing. And so, um, 
yeah. I'm, I don't know, always looking for something new and different to play against this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. Yeah. So if you prefer, we could just do, uh, I could, you could chat your thoughts and I could do things on the large board for everybody's benefit. If you prefer, that might be a lot easier. But yeah, you've always had this very strong way of attacking. And so I decided to try something different yet again. And invariably, yeah, it was a challenging game. Um, but yeah, this opposing rook thing is spooky. Um, <laughs> I mean, I play different openings every time, no? So yeah. Yeah, it looks like you were well prepared to try this opposing rook thing, so I tried something yet different again. I'm always looking for something new and creative to play, keeping in mind everything we've previously played. And so, yeah, you played this. Um, you know, at some point, it dawns on me, I gotta just start playing this against you and see, like, how do you react to that? But I didn't have the presence of mind to try that, so... In fact, yeah, here maybe this is when I should try that. I don't know. I'm giving him more ammunition for the next time. Because, you know, maybe we just didn't have enough this time. <laughs> um, Yeah, no, I would have done this exchange. This is a good rook pawn exchange. It activates your rook. Uh, it just befuddles me how you can just not castle and things are okay. But you'd planned this out. Like, you knew that this sort of thing was going to happen. You knew you were going to build your fortress like this. And you'd figured all this out in advance. Um, which, well done. Um, yeah, well thought out. So, uh, yeah, I get to drop my rook back. And... I see that you're going to castle this way. I know that you're going to go do this. I don't know if they like you should be doing this, to be honest. Although it worked out. I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's like, when you say you're going to go castle this way, this means like, okay, I'm just going to put my king on the same side of the board as your king, and maybe it'll work itself out. Um... Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, you were, we were both playing pretty quickly. Uh, you were playing faster than I was. I was still playing at a pretty brisk pace because I saw you were playing quickly. And I was trying to have some fun with it. Um, but yeah. So we kind of whipped out our opening moves in quite a hurry. I assume because you'd prepared it and I just wanted to play a game. Learned with the Ugger, king at 6-2 is strong against third foul rook. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I think, what was it? Uh, Shogi Harbor was saying that the king on 6-2 or even 6-1 can be pretty strong. Um, yeah, and then you can castle at your leisure if I don't do anything. And, like, this pawn, edge pawn advance doesn't really do much. Yeah, it does put some light pressure on the castle and Maybe that'll play a factor in the end game, but this really isn't much to speak of. Well, I wonder, like, if I'd actually played, um, well, no, I can't drop the pawn in front. Never mind. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. So, you built your castle. I tried to build a castle over here. Um... And, yeah, you opened up your bishop, and I have a miserable position. Maybe my rook move was ill-timed. Maybe I should have thrown this, this in. I don't know. Maybe I just have a bad position. Um, I was concerned when I moved the knight up that the knight could become targeted. Um, but that didn't happen. I don't know about this, but 
Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gotten into this situation in the first place. Like, yeah, to get my rook to on the same file as your rook, I had to move my knight. And so maybe I need to change up what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, you... I, I, I am kind of begging you to attack me. Since my generals are all divided and scattered. And you've done the opposite. You've put all your generals in one really tiny, small corner here. Like, your rook and bishop and everything else are kind of exposed, but um, your generals are well compacted together. So, like, we've taken opposite ends of this yin and yang thing. Um, and it makes sense that you want to attack. I don't know if it's supposed to work, but, um, yeah, you're this. it makes sense that, like, I'm begging you to attack me, so... Uh, you should try. And you did. And that was, this is smart. Um, so then, yeah, I intend to, like, attack the head of your bishop, attack your rook, bring my silver up, promote my rook, and attack your king from behind. Because you've committed to this castle. So, this was my idea. It's... I don't know if it's slow or not. I don't know if it's heavy or not. It's hard to say. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty hot mess. Um, yeah, And then I uh, fought back against your rook because this actually did scare me a bit. And yeah, I didn't see what you were going to do here. Um, and so you did what you did. Well, I'm sorry, you prepared it with this first. I don't know if this is necessary, but why not throw it? Well, no, this just loses a move if it's not necessary. So I think we were both confused about what you were trying to do. Um, that's at least how I'm reading it right here. If you had a clear plan... This move doesn't say that I have a clear plan. Oh, you were trying to capture the silver. Interesting. I mean, yeah, if I have no attack, it I guess that makes sense. This forces me to think a little bit about the silver. And meanwhile, I should have been like pushing this pawn and bringing the silver up. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do this. This would have been interesting. This was my golden opportunity, and I missed it, and then later regretted it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I... That's quite the miss on my part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. This would have been a very strong attack. I should not have missed this. Or at least if I were tooed on, I would see that. I'm not tooed on anymore. Um, but yeah, if I were tooed on, I would see something like this and snatch the initiative. Um, so, I missed that. Instead... Yeah, this is just no good. I'm splitting up my generals. Trying to fight in the center directly, because... I don't know. I'm not sure why I did this. I had a bad feeling about it. I think I was just scared something bad would happen. And so I played, like, the worst move available on the board, because I was afraid something bad might happen. I was trying to figure out how to do this, and this, and this, and this, and something like that. And I thought I had to play this first. So that this rook's not going to enter and take over here. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. But, yeah. The silver move breaks up all my generals. 
and it's a cowardly defensive move that just makes my position more vulnerable. Um, so if I'm going to play this aggressively in the opening, I have to be willing to read out stuff and actually play the pawn advance and not play a defensive move unnecessarily. Um, because this gave you time to... Oh, that's... I see. This is what you meant by trapping the silver. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then you push this pawn, which is very reasonable. And then push the other pawn, which is also quite reasonable. This builds up an enormous attack. And it feels like the game kind of plays itself at this point. Like... I don't know. I did a lot of reading. I could not find a way to save this position. I did consider this, but, um, like, this doesn't seem to do anything. Like, this blocks my bishop, and then this drops, so... I can't exactly do that. I guess I considered this... And it just didn't seem any better. Your attack just gets stronger and stronger, and there's nothing I can do. Well, maybe this is not bad. I thought this looked horrible. Maybe it's okay. Um, maybe this is somehow okay. It looked terrifying. But maybe somehow I survived this. I doubt it. Yeah, because then, like, my silver gets trapped up here. So, um, yeah, I, I thought I had to take here. Pawn takes pawn. I thought my position was better. Maybe it is. But, like, I don't know. Do you think... What do you think about this? <laughs> Am I winning this or losing it or what? You've got to have some opinion. <laughs> what are the ideas here? <laughs> like, you obviously played a good attack. I just wonder... Like, I thought my position was better here. And it seems I was mistaken. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah your king is very safe. And I guess I didn't take my king safety seriously enough. Because I saw, like, hey, you've got a silver and a pawn and a pawn and a bishop attacking. Oh, hang on. I missed this. This would have been cute. This would have been super cute. Yeah. I mean, I could say the same about your generals. Yeah, they're protecting the king. Um, so that's a really nice, safe shape. But my generals are actually doing something. They're like all over the board controlling lots of territory. Um, lots of important squares that you would like to drop pieces on. And this is like on the verge of... Well, it takes time to get these pieces active. The rook is not coordinating well with the rest of the army. If the rook were on a good square... Then, yeah, then it would be a different story. Yeah, it's it's kind of a mess. Because I have no defense, but you have no very little attack. But your attack seems to outpace my defense. So yeah, I could just drop this pawn. I thought I was doing fine. Um, in retrospect, maybe I should drop this pawn? I don't know. Computers can figure this stuff out. Um, 
Like, this pawn drop looked interesting. I don't know. I tend to get these very messy positions that only a computer can easily answer. Whereas you and I are just going to have to agree that this is complicated, I guess. It's hard to judge. I hate leaving it at that, but, like, I don't know. I'm always doing these original ideas. It's not like I make and Sometimes I make large blunders, but this was... I don't know. I think we just have different ways of evaluating this game. Like, yeah, I thought this was an excellent bishop. And I take this, and I... Originally, I thought I was going to take here, and I thought this would be okay. Um, and maybe this is still the best way to go here. It's messy. Um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, during the game... I started to think about this, and I was concerned about that. Uh, but then I missed this. So, yeah. Uh, it's possible this might be good for me. But then you've got, like, this. Yeah. Oh, when did I take this silver? I forgot about the bishop. Yeah, I mean, it, you were moving very, very quickly, so it doesn't surprise me that you forgot about something because you weren't being careful. Um, now, I lost the game, so how can I lecture you about being careful, but still, like, be careful. <laughs> I don't know, what can I say? Um... Yeah, then you launched this attack, and I just... Yeah, this is what you didn't see is this, and then bishop takes. Um, so that's... I had planned that bishop takes from back here, just so you know. That's what I was spending my time looking at, was this bishop takes. So... I was being careful, but then later I messed up. Um, this is a good move. You missed it maybe once or twice earlier, but finally found it. I dropped a silver. The silver is probably not the right piece to drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well then, yeah. That's That's fair. I mean, hey, you won the game, so what can I say? You did good enough. Um, yeah. I can't lecture you if I lost the game. Uh, oh, wait. So this silver drop was one move, but like I missed this knight drop, which would have been crushing. I missed this lance drop, which would have prepared this fork and that, and would have been crushing. Um, what other things did I miss here? I don't know. I could play the rook to the open file, threaten to take this. Even if you take here, that's probably no... Well, no, it is a big deal. I can't just ignore that. Yeah, no, I thought this was a very good pawn move, but the more I look at it, I kind of hate it. Um... So, yeah, I just got way too excited here. Um, you have a good attack. I don't have an attack, but I'm up two pieces. And I like my position. Um, but obviously I played this horribly. Uh, there's got to be... like. Even just dropping this here or something. Well, no. No, it's not easy. <sighs> There's got to be something. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. 
It's like the dual threat here is your bishop against my king and this pawn promotion threatening to take my gold and my rook. The only way I can combat both of those is with this knight drop, which threatens to take this and take the rook, but also cuts off the rook's attack on this square. If I had seen this move, if I'd calmed down and found it, I wonder how this might have continued. I didn't calm down and find it, but maybe this is the way I need it to go. With the idea of like pawn takes, I take here, and now taking this gold runs into this exchange. Yeah. Yeah, see, I thought you had a lot of good ideas, but um, yeah, I think we both played a bit carelessly, and so the game was a lot more even than it should have been. Yeah, we probably there were probably some swings along the way, but and this bishop retreat, it's a mature move, I guess. I didn't expect it. Um and then I got greedy and tried to win a heavy piece. I just I don't know. Like originally I was thinking I'd just play this here and then take that gold. What about lance instead of pawn? Oh, there we go. Yeah, and then this makes this even stronger. Yeah, that's a very good point. Now you kind of need to have a decisive attack. Um, uh, I don't know. So, jeez, that's, that's pretty strong. Now, granted, like, if I were dropping the lance, I'd probably drop it back one, but still. That looks really strong. Yeah, I don't know how you could react to this. But also, that might not even be my best move here. I don't know. This is super complicated. Oh, actually, yeah. The other hidden threat here. Let's say you retreat the bishop. I just block it. And then that's just a glorified pawn. It's not a bishop anymore. Yeah, if you like spend some time, you could shuffle it over here, and then over here, and something... You could spend several moves to try to get the bishop somewhere useful, but um, right now it's not a bishop. So, yeah, probably that's very... Oh, well, okay. Wouldn't surprise me if Shogigui says this. Uh, that's over my head. It's possible. Uh, maybe it works. That's way over my head. But, yeah, this... Oh, okay. Yeah, um... So, I defer... Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I would say, like, Shogi Gooey could tell you what's going on here. I... This is too complicated for me to figure out. Um... My human reaction to this is I would just want to take the silver and then take the lance, and then I'd get two pieces for, I don't know. Like, I would be very tempted to do this, but it gets complicated, right? It gets very complicated, so maybe it's not correct. Yeah. No, I think that's very greedy. Um, no, probably safer is this. Which basically wins a bishop for nothing, because the bishop can't do anything right now. And the attack is completely stopped. The rook is blocked, the bishop is blocked. Well, I say completely stopped, but maybe you could take this. There are a number of positions in the game where you could maybe do rook takes something, and I don't know.
Uh, it's hard for me to lecture because I missed some pivotal tactics this game. Um, I debated bringing the horse up instead of down, but then I was afraid of this. So, and maybe afraid of other pieces attacking the horse too. So instead I retreated, you played this good attack, you played this which hits my horse, and I got greedy. This would have been simple. I don't know why I didn't do that. Like yeah you do have an attack, yeah you get the bishop back and that severely annoys me, but um, maybe I survive this way. Whereas the way I played it in the game, I just do not survive. Like, yeah, so... Well, no, no, it's not so easy for me to kick away the attackers, is it? I thought I would have something here. Something like that. And just the... I thought the attack dies, but this... You got this tactic again. Maybe I have some trick here. I doubt it. Yeah, your castle's too strong. Oh. Oh, right, this thing. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'm lost. I don't know. Yeah, you said Shogi Gui said until move 100 that this is pretty even. Oh! Oh, wait a second. So... My horse retreat was very bad, wasn't it? Because it allowed you to drop the knight with gain of time. Time. Um, yeah, it would have been better if I would played like back here. That way you don't gain a move. Um, yeah, you still get my horse, but you don't gain time while gaining the horse. This, I probably would have been fine. But I miss this... I missed this, so... Yeah, you played this attack very well. You took the knight. And... Yeah, you're able to continue repeatedly gaining time here. I played a cowardly knight drop, because I thought it would work. And you threatened to bring the rook over, and that was enough to spook me here. Um... Yeah, probably my best chance is, like, this bishop drop, which I saw, but didn't think I needed to do. Um, so. Yeah. And then after this, everything just falls apart. It's, I missed that. Or I saw it, but I just didn't think I needed to do it. Um... So instead I played this. And this invites all the tactics we saw in the game, because my generals are all split, like you noticed earlier. Um, so this pawn drop looks cute. It's probably okay. This pawn drop is maybe... I don't know. My attack has fallen apart. Um, yeah, this pawn drop doesn't do anything. It looks scary, but... I couldn't spook you. And yeah, after this it's it's all she wrote. So not sure what else there is to look at here. Uh is there anything any position you want to look at or am I just I don't know. You played a good attack. I played a mediocre defense and it didn't work out. Um most games, I play a very fierce attack in the opening. This time, I tried a different tactic. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, sorry I don't have more to share at this time, but this was a very tactical game. It came down to just who could read the game better. Or you had a really strong intuition, and your strong intuition pushed you in the good direction. And I just did not calculate at the level I needed to calculate for this to work out. So that's how it goes. Very well done. And uh, congrats on the win. And maybe at this point I'll be motivated to study a bit more. 
and try to get my two down rank back. Uh, we'll see. Nicely played. Uh, thanks for the game.